Yields back. Gentleman from Mississippi reserves. Gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield three minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Hurd. Gentleman from Texas, Mr. Hurd, is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's not a revolution or jihad. It's a slaughter. I was shocked by what I did. I found it very, very hard to live there. ISIS fighters don't represent the religion. I don't see them as good Muslims. Mr. Speaker, those are the words of Americans who traveled overseas to fight alongside us. They left home believing they were headed towards a great adventure. They were promised glory and honor. But what they found was death and a perversion of the religion they believe in. These fighters were originally recruited to fight for ISIS through social media. Every day, ISIS spreads their lies and propaganda, drawing in naive young Americans. They do this in dozens of different languages, reaching people across the world. Even while ISIS loses ground on the battlefield, they are working hard to make it up in the digital sphere. The Combating Terrorist Recruitment Act will allow us to take these powerful words of truth and use them to combat the lies that ISIS is spreading on social media. Some may say this is unnecessary. Some may say, why aren't we always already doing this? We aren't, and that's why we, we need this piece of legislation. This bill requires the Secretary of Homeland Security to use the testimonials of former extremists and defectors as part of an ongoing effort to stop terrorist recruitment. These individuals who have seen the brutality of terrorist groups firsthand and have rejected it. This bill is not limited to specific groups. Let me repeat that one more time. This bill is not limited to specific groups. It gives our counterterrorism professionals the flexibility needed to fight back against extremists as the threat environment and terrorist tactics change. It also requires DHS to coordinate these efforts with other agencies, non-governmental organizations, and foreign partners so that we do this the right way, finding the best outlets for undermining terrorist propaganda. The bipartisan foreign fighter task force I served on recommended that we use these credible voices to fight against ISIS online efforts. The nonpartisan Homeland Security Advisory Council has urged DHS to use the testimonials of former extremists in our counter-narrative efforts. And our foreign partners are already using these tactics and finding them effective. Our young people are being targeted. We have the tools to help protect them. These tools can stop others in our hometowns from making a terrible mistake. We need to get in the online fight, but time is not on our side. I encourage my colleagues to vote in favor of the Combating Terrorist Recruitment Act. And having spent nine and a half years as an undercover officer chasing terrorists across the world, there's no such thing as a silver bullet. We got to do this piecemeal. And this bill is one step going in that direction. And I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Texas, Mr. Hurd, yields back. Gentleman from Texas, Mr. McCall, reserve.